Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mohsin. Today I am going to teach you how to use the EpiPen. This is one of the most common teaching stages in OSCE exams. And here we are not teaching the student. Most of the time we are teaching the parents of the child. So Prom would be saying that some child has been presented and has been diagnosed with anaphylaxis and has been prescribed with EpiPen. Now we need to teach this uh, parent regarding the EpiPen use. So first of all we take the short history regarding the child, like is he up to date with his chat, active and playful normally, then we take history regarding the attack, what about the symptoms child was sending this time, like this could be lip swelling, tongue swelling, shoulders of breath, any wheezing sounds. Then we to ask shorter about the EpiPen, that how much mother knows about the EpiPen. Alright, after taking this short history, then we will start teaching the parent. So how to teach? First of all, we will let her know that when to use this pen. Definitely, while at asking about the attack, she will tell us that what symptoms child was having, like short of breath, lip swelling, tongue swelling, rash, or any wheezing in chest. So we'll again rephrase that whenever you notice any of these things, you need to use this pen. So after explaining her, we need to tell her. So this is pen. It's like a device. Why? It has medicine called adrenaline inside it that we use for anaphylaxis that somebody has an acute allergic reaction so doctors first of all we need to tell her to check the expiry date before the use then we need to explain that see a drug window here to see if drug is damaged or not and if it is able to use because this drug can get damaged if it is placed at extremes of temperature okay all right so we then need to explain the parts so this is the blue part and this is the orange part this blue part is like a safety pin that when it, it is here we can't use this pen so when we will remove then we will be able to use this this orange part it has needle inside it and we need to make her sure that don't worry this needle is covered and retractable so she will not get hurt by it all right so we need to explain her if she notice any symptoms like any lip swelling tongue swelling any shoulder spread any rashes any sounds from chest then she need to use it so she will simply hold it like this okay remove this blue safety pin and then she will be swinging motion holding like this swinging motion all the way to the child's thigh okay and he will hear a clicking sound all right so then she should wait for three seconds and she can count one elephant two elephant and three elephant all right so all the medicine has been injected we need to tell her that there is no need to remove the gloves but make sure that it is not on any button and there should be nothing inside the child's pocket. After that we need to tell her to lay her child on the ground uh, in left lateral position on one side toward any aspiration and then we we'll, uh, need to uh, counsel her to call triple nine and just let them know that your child is having anaphylaxis reaction. After that we need to uh, tell her that if the help uh, will not arrive within 5 minutes and if there is no improvement in signs of child, she need to use other pen on other thigh of child as well. Alright? So after that, we need to tell her that uh, we will bring your child to the hospital and to see for any delayed allergic reactions. After that, doctors, we need to tell her that this is a single use pen. Alright? So we can just use this pen once and then after that we need to get this pen replaced from pharmacy or GP. And we also uh, like to explain to the parents that she should inform this child's school regarding her condition and when child is going outside he should be carrying this pen with him as well. Alright? And, and anybody who is taking care of the child should also know about her, his condition as well and also how to use this pen. Alright, and as child would be getting older, so we we'll also need to uh, explain the child how to use this pen. So this is all from EpiPen teaching. Thank you so much.